Hi everyone, and this will be hopefully our first video on study with Rania E and Katie. So a short introduction of this channel. Rania E stands for Rania Alicia, which is me, I'm the girl speaker. And KD stands for Kyle, and he'll be the guy speaker on this channel. And we're both at the moment, we're Form 4 turning Form 5 in this year. And this channel was created in hopes to, to sort of teach the things that we know um, apart from benefiting others who are watching this video. Kyle and I can also use this platform to do revisions. Let us know your feedback in the comments below. Okay, let's start off with chapter 5 from 5, Chemistry. So, oils and fat. So as we all know, oils and fat belong to the homologous series of ester. Alright, ta-da! So if so Tanya, if the question asks you what is the homologous series for coconut oil or even animal fat, you will just answer it's ester because coconut oil is still an oil and animal fat is still fat. So anything oil or fat related is under ester. Next, so oils and fats are made out of fatty acid and glycerol. Alright, so how do you produce ester to begin with? So you have to undergo a process called esterification. Fat and oils are made out of fatty acids and glycerol. So what happens after that? Fatty acid plus glycerol, you will get fat or oil plus water. Alright, so what is esterification? So we know just so esterification is a process to produce ester. And what is ester? That's an oil. That is oil. Fatty acid. One of the examples is carboxylic acid, type of fatty acid. And when it's mixed with alcohol, which is a type of glycerol, it produces ester plus water. I'm not gonna go and dive deep inside this part of the chapter, so do watch other videos or get in touch with your teacher. But Fatty acids are basically long carboxylic acid, or, or to put it into context, it has more than 10 carbon. Okay, so carboxylic acid has a lot of C's. For example, this. Let's count the amount of C's. One, two, here we have 10 and one. So one, two, three, plus 10. That's 13. So then automatically, that can be known as long carboxylic acids. Glycerol is a special type of alcohol with three OH groups. For example, if it's one OH, then it's alcohol. If it's two OH, then it's diol. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. If it's three OH, then it's called glycerol. So fat or oil is also known as triglycerides. Let's get into the chonto soalan, or an example of a question that can be asked. What is the name of this reaction? So if you look closely, it's, fat, it's glycerol and fatty acids, and then you get fats or oil, which is also an ester, and molecule A plus water. So molecule A should just be H2O. But what's the name of this reaction? This is too obvious, guys. This is esterification. But what is the chemical formula of molecule A? So as mentioned, molecule A is water. So water, the chemical form formula is H2O. So your answer would be H2O. Moving on, now we're going to find out the difference between fats and oils. So what are the difference? They're both under the homologous series of ester, but now time to differentiate them. Okay, let's look back from the source. Fats are from animals, oils are from plants. Fats, when your physical state is from solid, whereas oil, the physical state is liquid. Okay, so content of fatty acids. Color from the fat, it has high percentages and it's saturated. Well, they all have fatty acids, though. but then fats are saturated fats and they have high percentage of it. I mean, oils too, but you see, oils are unsaturated fats. Since fat is solid anyways, it has definitely a higher melting point compared to oils. What are some examples of fats? Look at butter, look at chicken fat, look at normal oils. What are some examples? Can be palm oil, sunflower oil, avocado oil, olive oil. There's so many. 
Now, if you see an avocado butter, if you have a dad, if you ever do, an avocado butter, those are not considered unsaturated fats anymore because something is added into the avocado oil to turn it into butter. But we will learn that later on. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with others if you find it useful, as it helps our channel grow. Now that we know there are two kinds of fatty acid, which is saturated and unsaturated, how do you tell the difference, right? So for saturated fatty acids, look at the keyword. It's between carbon and carbon, and they're bonded by a C-C single bond. Uh, basically, it's between carbon to carbon, and there's a single bond, right? Think of it like because you're fat. Oh, I feel so bad saying that. Um, but because you're fat, so you have not enough energy to soft put two hands up. So you only can put one hand up. So that's why there's only one over here. So it's bonded by a CC single bond. If you notice here, this isn't called a double bond because it's not between carbon to carbon. See? It's between this O and C. So this is not a double bond. Can you see between C and C, there's a single bond here. Here, here, here. So unsaturated fatty acid, think of it like because they're more fit, right? Quote unquote fit. So they're able to take two hands up to hold, hold on to each other between these two C species. So they can put two hands up, right? See? And they have at least one double bond. So this is called this is called double bond. So they're bonded with at least one double bond. Let's look at the diagram here. So here between this two C, this is called single bond. Okay, this is a double bond. So it has at least one. If if sometimes there's in a there will be situations where there's two or more than one. But it's okay. But if it if there is at least one automatically, you know, oh this is an unsaturated fatty acid that we're looking over here. So here are some extra knowledge. Oh, and sometimes, instead of writing it like this, sometimes the unsaturated CC, the double bond, can also look like this. For knowledge, if the fat or the oil contains only one C, the double bond, there's only one, then it's mono, unsaturated fatty acids. But if there's more than one, then automatically it becomes poly unsaturated. And this thing applies to saturated fats as well. If there's only one C C, like the single bond, then it's a mono saturated fatty acid. But if it's more than one, if you see this more than one, then it's a poly saturated fatty acid. Alright? Now here's a test on how to differentiate between saturated and unsaturated fats or oils. Alright, so first we're going to take our bromine. As we all know, bromine is initially brown color. Alright, so if the oil is saturated, when you add bromine into the saturated oil, the brown color remains. Now the way I like to memorize this is I like to think that because it's so saturated, the bromine isn't able to really react fully with all the oils. The hence, that is why the brown color remains. Whereas, if you put bromine into an unsaturated oil, the bromine is able to react nicely with the oil, so the brown color will eventually turn colorless. However, unsaturated fats or oils cannot be stored for a long time. This is because it turns rancid easily. Oils or fats are easily oxidized. And if in the exam, they question you on why that is the case, you can answer unsaturated fats or oils contains the C equals C double bond, which can be oxidized easily. To solve this problem, you have to convert the C equals C double bond into a C dash C by using a method called hydrogenation. So how do you do hydrogenation? Well first you add a hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas you have to make sure it is at 180 degrees into a not hot oil and add a nickel that, can, that acts as a catalyst. 
Some things that eventually changes after the hydrogenation process is the unsaturated fatty acids is now turned into the saturated fatty acid. So from a C equals C double bond, it is turned into a C dash C single bond. So what happens after that? The molecular mass increases, the melting and boiling point increases, the liquid turns into solid because now the unsaturated fatty acids are now saturated, right? And saturated, kita orang tengok just now, in the column, we saw that saturated fatty acids or saturated fats or oils are usually in the state that is solid. So this is how we make margarine from plant oil. And this is the thing that I mentioned just now, taking avocado oil and turn it into avocado butter. And some of the uses of oils and fats in our life is first biofuel which produces energy in engine nutritional source which can be taken as food to supply energy and it also helps to absorb certain types of vitamin like vitamin a d e and k which are fat soluble i mean you don't have to know this you just have to take note of this all right next is soap and personal care for example in your moisturizer like your skin care or even your lotion for your body care last one is animal feed the downside if you take fats and oils too excessively in our diet is it can potentially cause obesity heart related health issues like heart attacks stroke and even high blood pressure now saturated fats or oils will indefinitely increase the amount of cholesterol in the blood but just take note that unsaturated fats are usually way better than saturated fats okay guys we have reached the end of today's video check out the link in our description box to do some quizzes regarding this subtopic thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more like and subscribe and take care. Bye!